If we're going to debate the future of the Labour Party and who should be the leader of the Labour Party, we've got to look at Labour's record. And uh, the truth is, Labour's had its ups and downs with trade unions and with workers. And my own union, the FBU, has come into conflict with Labour in local government and in national governments. In my union, you need one nomination to stand as General Secretary and then the members decide. We're not in favour of putting any obstacles in the way of our members deciding who should be their party leader. I think Labour MPs, like other people in the Labour movement, should be accountable to their constituents, of course, but also to the party members who selected them. It was unanimous to support open selection. People are not are bemused are bemused that this has become such a supposedly scandalous issue. There's been, there's been much discourse, if I'm honest, about moving to open selections, to throw open the doors to a new generation of MPs and to improve the culture of our party. And it's clear to us that the only candidate who's willing to speak out and defend that hugely important democratic demand from party members for open selection is Rebecca Long Bailey. My role as leader would be to democratise the party. The party of freedom, the party of justice, and the party of true aspiration. Because when you boil it down, that's what socialism is all about. And my message to everyone here tonight is clear. That is our path to power. Thank you and solidarity. Oh.